59, and we're going to start by letting g be one of the even integers that they're talking about. g plus 2 would be the next one, because they wanted two consecutive even integers, like 6 and 8, 12 and 14, 82 and 84, two consecutive even integers. They're saying the sum of their reciprocals. So the reciprocal of G is? The students say 1 over G. And the reciprocal of G plus 2 is? 1 over G plus 2. They want that sum to equal 11 sixtieths. So I've narrowed it down to C and D. What's right? 8 and 10, or 10 and 12? I'd probably test them both to see which one's right. Is it 8 and 10? Is 1 8 plus 1 10 11 60th? G plus 2. If this is G, and that's G plus 2, right? Is that right? Well, can we make them both into 40th? Yes, this would be 5 40th, and this would be 4 40th, which would be 9 40th. Is that 11 60th? I think 8 and 10 are garbage answers. Are 10 and 12 right? Yes, because this is 6 60th, and this is 5 60th, which is 11 60th. So that makes D correct. All right? If you want to look at number 60, um, resistance is capital R. They give you the equation. They give you capital R. So 1 over 35, they give you that. 1 over little r, call it r1, they called it, right? And they give you r2 is 95. So solve that equation. Or, since it's a multiple choice test, take each of these choices and plug them in to see which one is correct. The correct one is d, 55. You could check that. Is 1 55th plus 1 95th the same as 1 35th? You could check it if you'd like. If you want to know how to solve it, you could multiply through by their least common multiple. Okay? And then you'd get um, what is the least common multiple? I'd probably multiply everything by 35 times 95, to be honest. If, if you're not sure, if you don't have time to find their least common multiple, multiply through by both of them. What's 35 times 95 times 1 35th? What happens here? What's 95 times 1? What's 35 times 95 times 1 over r? Quick, someone do 35 times 95. I have it right here. What am I talking about? 3325? And then multiply 35 times 95 times this. What happens here? You get 35. Subtract 35 from both sides. Then what? 60R would equal 3325. Divide both sides by 60, and you get 55. So that, that resistor has to be 55 ohms. Dude.